Hello everyone, welcome to Business Startup Qatar. I am with Felix again today and we're going to talk about business model, innovation, development and innovation. I always get these right, but they're t wonderful subject, Felix. Come on, tell us about them. They really are. Well, a business model is um, a description of your core and um, the most fundamental um, aspects of a business or project. Um, it, it, uh, it could be technical, it could be financial, it could be commercial information um, that goes into it. And a business model is the backbone of, um, of your business or your project, essentially. I, th I think since I've known you now, we've been together now for nearly five years, and I think that's the, the this is one of the biggest advantages that we've had in our business. I've been operating businesses uh, within uh, the entrepreneurial world for quite some time, but I think this was one of the biggest advantages for us. Exactly. It's, it's a more structured way of describing an idea, describing a business, describing a project or an organization, essentially, and what it stands for. Um, we are asking and, and answering very fundamental questions like um, what do you offer to your customer? Who is your customer? Um, how do you create value propositions? And how do you generate revenues? And these are only four examples of what is covered with a business model. Uh, it also comprises the key resources, key resources that could be um, fixed or, or you know, um, financial or non-financial assets, for example, your human resources. Um, it, it covers the um, customer segments, like we said. It covers the um, distribution channels, the way you deliver your products and services or your activities. Uh, and there's many different ways today, and it's just a matter of being more specific about it. Our business is, is strife. Since we identified that such a long, long time back, um, I just we saw such a massive growth, and and it was just by putting those those those. Sometimes you you underestimate the basics in place first. Exactly. At the very beginning, we were talking about development and innovation, and there's a reason why. Um, you know, both elements are very important. One is uh, development at the beginning, at an, in an early stage for startups and scale-ups, but innovation uh, is referring to uh, adjusting and amending the business model from time to time. When, when we spoke about market research, we said uh, that it is very important to stay um, on the edge if you want to, and the business model is really a reflection of it. Um, you will have to change, you will have to update your business model from time to time, and every established business has to do so. It's not always, um, it's, it can be quite painful sometimes. Absolutely, you're looking at um, the most fundamental and, and, and uh, most basic aspects of, of your business. Um, and on many occasions, um, changes in the business model have a very um, you know, significant impact on the way you're doing business. I, I remember in the beginning when we, 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 we started, I used to run in the opposite direction, if I'm honest, and I bet there's a lot of people out there that's going to be doing exactly the same. But it's not nothing to be afraid of once you go through that pain barrier. Not at all. I think it's a matter of, um, again, breaking the ice, putting it in place one time and you will see the value straight away. Um, there's many things you derive from a business model. It could be um, your corporate strategy. It could be, um, you know, your organizational structure. It could be an operational system that, that um, comes You don't get it. it right all the time, right? It's work in progress. You sometimes. don't. It's work in progress. You take it step by step. Um, and it's, it's a journey. Um, it's not a matter of putting it in place once, but like you said, updating it from time to time and making sure that you're staying at the edge. And that's the message of this story today. Okay. These are fundamental parts of your business. It's something that you have to consider. It's no good running away from these things. Sometimes they are difficult to approach, but you've just got to face them head on. And if you get it right, you'll see your business grow exponentially. Thanks very much for listening.